Oh yeah. It's the brand new simultaneous multi-frequency machine from Nocta Macro. It's the legend, and I cannot wait to get into this. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. So in this video, I'm going to do an unboxing of the legend. Um, I'm going to put it together, do a very, very quick first impressions of how it looks and feels. Um, and at the very end, I'll do a little comparison between the VDIs on the Simplex and the VDIs on the Legend. Um, purely because on the Simplex, the VDI numbers go from 0 to 99. On here, they go from 0 to 60. So the numbers are going to be in slightly different places. I want to get a rough and ready idea of kind of how they, how they translate. So stick with me. That's all coming up. I'm Adam. This is my brand new metal detector. And this is the Nocta Macro Legend unboxing and first impressions. Welcome to Detect Sussex. So the legend has landed. I'm so excited to get into this and uh, start using it very, very soon. Um, we're going to start in the same way as all great unboxings start by having a look at the box. Uh, now, the box on this side is the same as on the opposite side, so I won't show you both sides, but um, it's exactly the same print on both sides. So we'll start over here. We've got the logo, nice legend logo, changing the game for multi-frequency. Do not accept paying more for less. Those are the slogans for the metal detector. There's a picture of the legend itself. You'll notice it looks a lot like the Simplex. They've used the same housing as the Simplex. Um, so you know it's gonna to be tough and you know it's gonna be waterproof. Waterproof up to three meters and 10 feet, same as the Simplex. Uh, we've got a waterproof double D search coil, uh, 11 inch in diameter and a carbon fiber lower shaft. Now this was an optional extra for the Simplex. It's proved so popular that they've put it on this uh, machine. Uh, shaft retracts down to 63 centimeters or 25 inches for easy transport and underwater use. Again, very similar to the Simplex in the sort of the physicality of the machine. Uh, you get yourself a three year warranty with the machine. And we're gonna run quickly through these little uh, features. So we've got advanced discrimination settings, noise cancellation and frequency shift, recovery speed setting. Uh, we've got 60 target IDs and harmonic uh, tones. So exciting stuff there. Uh, adjustable threshold for custom user profiles. Brilliant, so you can switch between and save different profiles for different locations. That's really useful. Um, easy operation, yep. Yeah. So we come to expect that now from Nocturne Macro. Uh, vibration, so if you want to turn the sound off, you're, if you're um, hard of hearing, for example, you can uh, use a vibration feature instead of listening for the tones, um, or to supplement the tones, I guess. Uh, we've got backlit LCD and a flashlight on the back. Again, same as the, uh, same as the Simplex. It's lightweight, we've got a long battery life, and there are gonna be online firmware updates. Uh, they're already talking about adding um, an iron bias feature with an update uh, very, very soon. Uh, these are the headphones. There's the main picture of the, uh, the control box itself. Looking good, so those are the headphones. They're Bluetooth headphones working off the APTX low latency system. Um, you can use other Bluetooth headphones as long as they are low latency headphones, you should be okay. Uh, Bluetooth, yeah, it's just details about the Bluetooth down there. Awesome. Uh, in the middle here, we've got, yeah, just the main features. So simultaneous multi-frequency, two multi settings and five single frequencies you can use. So really flexible. Uh, Built-in clock and time tracking. This is something a lot of people uh, ask for on the machine. Uh, so they've actually got a clock, so you haven't got to you know, worry about checking your phone or your watch while you're out and about. And time tracking, so you can see how many hours you put into the machine. Uh, four search modes, so we've got park field, beach, and gold field. And we've got this ferro check. This is a brand new thing. Um, it basically, it gives you an idea of how ferrous or how non-ferrous the target is. So really good for hopefully narrowing down and uh, maybe digging less bad stuff and digging more good stuff. Let's have a look at the side of the box. Uh, it's just general stuff on there. Barcodes and the like. On this side, it gives you the package contents. Now, I've got the WHP version. This isn't the Pro Pack. Um, so in the WHP version, 
I will get in the extras for the Pro Pack uh, that we sent separately. But uh, for now, we've got the, the basic WHP version. So we've got the, the search coil in the box, uh, Bluetooth headphones are in the box. We've got a charging and data cable in the box. And it looks like we've got a lovely Legend baseball cap in there as well. Fantastic. As I said, the, the Pro Pack has a couple of extra things. It's the same detector. It has all of this stuff, um, but it just has a couple of extra bits, uh, namely a six inch double D coil and an external battery pack. As I said, I've been told that I'll be sent these separately. So these will be coming and I will be using them on the videos coming up. So that's the box. Let's get in and get it open and get this new machine out and have a closer look. I'll be right back. Okay, so the moment we've all been waiting for, let's get into this and have a good look at the new Nocta Macro Legend. So I'm assuming this opens in the same way as the previous Nocta Macro boxes. Looks fairly familiar. Here we go. <laughs> here we are. Here we are. Right, so what's we got here? This is uh, probably a little bit bright with the light. Uh, metal detecting code of ethics. Do not enter private property without the owner's permission. Refill all holes, remove and dispose of all trash found, and respect natural life and protect the environment. And a translation on the back. So good, yep, good advice. Excellent. We're going out of the way. We've got the aforementioned baseball cap. Look at that, baby. That is nice. Dr. Macro on the side. Oh, that's nice. Nice and embroidered. Uh, Velcro adjuster. Good stuff. Right, let's get into the hardware. So we've got a bag of bits. What's in the bag of bits? Arm strap. Uh, we've got the the bracket for the, the coil to fit onto the bottom, and we've got the charging cable as well. It's also the same cable that you can use to uh, update the machine. So when you get an update, plug this into your computer, and uh, yeah, you can update the machine via that. Okay, a bag, so I'm assuming this will be the headphones. Yeah, looks like it. That's a really nice bag. Nice and uh, heavy duty. Not a macro logo on there. Oh, these look nice. Oh, wow, these look really nice. Okay, it's just, oh, it's nice and smooth. Some headphones, when you fold them out like that, they sort of have a really sort of sharp kind of click and you feel like you're gonna break it, but that's really nice premium feel to those. Big uh, chunky uh, foam on the ear cups. They're uh, fully over ear. Um, headphones, so um, they completely cover your ears, so it'll be nice and snug. Micro logo, get it in focus. There we are. What's this say on the side? Uh, long press, next track, one press of volume. So you can use these as a normal Bluetooth headphones on your MP3 player if you want to. So yeah, you've got a button. That's obviously a button on the side, I guess. Oh, it's a tap. Maybe that's a sort of a haptic button. We've got down here, uh, mode button, uh, on and off. Don't know if you heard that, it just said power on. Uh, turn it off again, we've got power off. Uh, we've got a charging port. Um, presumably you can use it wired as well. So there's a, an auxiliary port there as well. Uh, don't know what that is, is that a microphone? Possibly, don't know, need to read the manual. Yeah, they look really nice. Really, really nice. Please with those. So we'll get those uh, put to one side. And here we have the machine itself. So excited, excited, excited. Doesn't quite cover it. So we've got, uh, what's this? We've got stems. So the upper and lower stems. Help if I released it, wouldn't it? There we go. Putting it the wrong way. So we've got the upper stem, which is your normal uh, aluminium. And you've got the lower stem, which is the lovely, lovely, lovely carbon fiber. Um, that looks identical to the Simplex one, so very familiar to me. Um, but if you haven't used the Simplex, or haven't used the Simplex with this, it changes the entire feel of the machine, makes it feel lighter, much more sturdy. So I'm glad they've included that on the, uh, the new Legend. Nice and smooth, jolly good. Quick release on uh, everything, so you can fold it down. I'll just put that on the floor down there for now. And we have the legend itself. Now, is this tied on? Yeah, it's tied on little Velcro straps. These little Velcro straps, by the way, whenever you get a Nocta Macro machine, okay, keep them because they're really good for keeping your coil cable close to your, your, your shaft. 
Um, I always use these on, on the on the coil cable. So yeah, don't lose those. They're really, really useful. That's one side. Uh, be attached anywhere else? Nope. Good to go. Here we have the Nocta Macro Legend. Great stuff. So we've got uh, power on, settings, uh, pinpoint, accept and reject, uh, frequency change, uh, discrimination, ground balance. We've got left and right uh, pads, and we've got plus and minus stroke up and down pads there as well to make all the adjustments. Those are all the buttons on the machine. Spin it round. Uh, we've got the flashlight on there. Oh, this is different. No, oh, it's a, okay. It's a threaded threaded cap for the uh, for the headphones and the charging port. That's nice. The uh, the Simplex has sort of a rubber cap that sort of went over the top of it, but that's that's nice and sort of premium feeling. That really good. If I can get that back on there. Obviously, that's the big speaker at the back there as well. So get that on. Superb. Uh, quick release for the shaft to go into. And on the armrest at the back here, again, very similar to the Simplex, if not identical. Um, they've changed the shape of this little section though, you'll notice. So on the Simplex, this came down straight across and up again, they've got this extra little section at the bottom there. Um, and that's because there's an external battery available for this. I so say, I'll be getting it, it's in the Pro Pack, I'll be getting it eventually. Um, but it's designed for the uh, external battery to slide in there and be nice and secure. So you can then wire, put the wire up to the uh, machine and uh, keep the power going once uh, the battery runs out. So if you're out for an entire weekend or longer, you don't have to worry about the, uh, the battery running out. It's really, really good. Again, same with the Simplex, you can adjust the positioning of the arm cup by unscrewing the screws and just moving it forwards and backwards. Nice. And finally, let's put that down gently to one side. Finally, under here, I think I can see a search coil. Let's get this uh, cardboard out of the way. It's not going to go through there. Let's take this. Another Velcro strap. Useful. They always keep your Velcro straps. Always, always, always keep your Velcro straps. So many people throw these away. I never believe it. All right. Nice Velcro strap. Saved to one side. Let's uh, push through the hole. There we are. Okay. Let's take the cardboard away. And there we have the new coil, simultaneous multi-frequency coil. Now, maybe you can't use any other coil on this. It only has to be the one specifically designed for it. It's nice. Look at that. Virgin coil, unscratched. <laughs> no uh, beach damage, no land damage. Nice and fresh. So it's double D. So you've got one coil going around there, one coil going around there. And the interlock, and the, uh, interlock rather overlap even and the area they overlap that's where the the field comes down like a blade so if you are new to detecting i like to just give you a little extra bits of information so lovely stuff that's everything in the box don't forget as i said in the pro pack you'll also have an external battery and um, a small six inch coil circular coil so that's the only extras you'll get in the pro pack i'm gonna get the machine together we'll have a quick look at it all together so uh, yeah i'll be right back Okay, so I've got my new hat on and I've got my new Nocta Macro Legend all put together. This is uh, folded down as far as it goes, so nice and easy to get in a boot or a bag. Don't forget when you're putting it together to leave a bit of flex in the coil so that you can adjust the angle as you're going around. Um, also, you'll notice if I extend this a little bit, I've used those little Velcro tabs on the coil cable there and there. Keeps it nice and tidy, one at the top, one at the bottom, so that when you, uh, you're out and about and you extend it, the cable stays nice and tidy. So there we go. I've got the uh, arm strap on as well. Um, I didn't use mine on my simplex because I didn't find the need. Didn't find that I needed it. 
Um, but uh, who knows? Maybe I'll give this a go on the on the uh, on the legend. Yeah, there's the arm strap, all connected in. Uh, on the coil cable, same with the charging cable, um, and the same as on the simplex. You need to push it in, twist the collar, push it in a bit more, twist the collar, push it in a bit more until it's there's no more movement. Okay, don't just put it in, twist it, and hope for the best. Okay, push it in, twist, push it in a bit more, twist, and keep going. Great stuff. Okay, let's have a little look at the screen. Okay, so let's get this machine turned on. So the power button's down here on the bottom right. Just hold it down for a couple of seconds. There we are. Let's let it load up. <laughs> nice little tune when it loads up. Perfect, so hopefully you can see the screen there. Now, I'm just gonna say this very quickly. I have never used a simultaneous multi-frequency machine before, so I'm gonna be learning this machine uh, over the coming weeks and months. Um, the manual, um, you will get a manual in your machine. I didn't get one in mine because they had just come back from the printers when they were posting these off. Um, but you will have a, uh, a manual in yours. Uh, and you can also download the manual from the Nox Macro website. I'll be pouring over that for the next few days just to try and familiarize myself a little bit more with the machine. Um, this is going to be a very brief kind of whistle stop tour of the buttons and the, the screen. So um, similar to the Simplex, you've got your modes along the top here, nice and simple. So that's, uh, I guess that will be park mode, field mode, beach mode and gold field mode. Uh, top left, you've got the battery indicator. I haven't actually put any charge in this yet. This is just out of the box. So uh, a couple of bars on the battery. Uh, you've got your user mode. Uh, I believe that's brightness. I'm not gonna commit to that. And you've got your clock in the top right corner here. Um, that's not the current time. I'll have to get that set. Um, you've got your VDI range and notches along here. Uh, down here is your information about which frequencies you're using. You can change all those. I won't go into any detail on that in a minute. You've got your sensitivity bar here. Um, I believe it's a plus and minus to change that, yeah. But you can see, rather than one push going down one bar, you can see a little, tiny little number, hopefully, on the top there's 19 at the minute, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so there's little gradients in between each bar. So it's not just five stages. You've actually got, what is it, 20, 30, 30 stages all the way through. I'll turn the sensitivity down a little bit. I don't want that beeping too much while I'm talking. Nice sounds, actually. These buttons, I must say, are really nice to press. They don't take too much pressure, um, but they're really nice. Got a nice feel to them. Really good. Uh, on the right-hand side here, we've got our depth gauge. So there's five um, blocks on the depth. In the middle, we've got our VDIs. So I'll give you our VDI numbers. As I said before, the VDI range is from zero to 60, whereas on the simplex, it's zero to 99. So let's say a pound coin at, would normally come in 69.70 on the uh, simplex, will probably come in somewhere around the 40 mark on the legend, but I'm gonna test that in a minute. Okay, we're gonna do a little uh, rough and ready test on that in a minute. Um, and here we have the ferro check. So we've got an iron, a horseshoe and nail on the left. We've got a, a ring on the right. So these bars will fill up. So if you've got something which is iron, that will fill up all the way to the left, okay? If you've got something which is non-ferrous, say, I don't know, silver, gold, all the way to the right. If you've got an alloy, they'll fill up different amounts. Okay, so if you've got something that's an alloy, you'll have bars on both sides. Fairly simple. Um, so we've got discrimination here. That will uh, change the discrimination mode up in the top left there. We've got frequency change. See that changing on the left to the left of the sensitivity bar. Um, let's see, settings, settings are here. Oh, ground balance will be here. There we go. And uh, yeah, settings is the power button. Just push it once. There we go. And uh, yeah, we've got various settings. So I'm not gonna go into these too in too much detail. Like I said, um, I'm new to all this. So you've got all your settings on the bottom there. You see there's two layers of settings sometimes. You can set your tones. Um, recovery speed. <laughs> So one all the way up to 13. Um, basically the higher the number, um, the higher the recovery speed. So basically the faster you can swing um, and it will separate targets, but you will lose depth. Whereas the lower the number is, the deeper you'll go, but the slower you'll have to swing. Um, what else we got? A few other settings. Like I'm not gonna go through all these volume, different tones. You can change all the tones, polyphonic tones on the machine. 
uh, brightness, vibration, torch, Bluetooth settings, clock settings, all sorts of things. So yeah, all sorts of stuff on there. I won't go into detail, I need to learn the machine properly myself, but that's a quick whistle-stop tour of the, uh, of the legend screen. Right, so as I said, I want to, this is for me mostly, um, but hopefully you'll find it useful as well. I want to see where certain things come on the Simplex range compared to the Legend. So I've got myself a full set of UK coins, and I'm gonna wave them in front of the Legend, see what VDI comes up, and I'll put the Simplex, the expected Simplex number on the screen, okay? So let's have a look at that. Okay, so we're just gonna round the video off with a little test to compare this, the VDI numbers on the Simplex with the VDI numbers on the Legend. I'm doing this because I'm used to the Simplex. I know that if I get a good tone at 69, it's probably gonna be a pound coin. Um, the range on the Simplex is zero to 99. On the Legend, it's zero to 60. So the numbers are all gonna be shoved down a little bit. I want to get a very rough ballpark idea as to how far those numbers are down the range, just to give me a bit of a head start when I go out with the machine for the first time. I know this is not gonna be the same numbers you'll get in the field, okay, but it will be in the ballpark. It'll be roughly there, okay? So I've turned the router off in my house here. I've turned everything off I can to try and reduce as much interference as I can. Obviously there will still be uh, interference from next door and things like that, So, um, but I've done everything I can. So we'll start off with a two pence piece. This is a 1988 two pence piece. So before they started putting steel cores in the middle, normally expect this to come up around about the mid to late 80s. Um, 87, 88 is quite common for these. So we'll give that a little go. Okay, so that's 49, fairly solid 49. And you can see at the bottom, um, if you just look, uh, I've got my finger in the screen, there we are, over here, you can see the ferro check is lighting up all the way to non-ferrous. If that had a steel core in the middle, then we'd probably have an alloy and we'd have uh, some of this side lighting up as well. So that's good. Okay, so we've got the 2P. Let's have a look at the 10P. So 10Ps would normally be early 30s, 32, 33 on the simplex. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Again, this is rough and ready. Um, yeah, Twenty-eight. So that's uh, gone down by what four or five VDIs down the bottom there. I've got a 20P, which is early 40s, 40, 41 thereabouts. So that's mid 30s. Sorry, early 30s, big problem. 32. It's locking onto that VDI. Once I get it, once I get it smoothly under the coil, that is locking on. Nice. Uh, I've got 50p, so these would normally be, um, again, sort of mid 30s, slightly higher than the 10p, so 34, 35. So what's that? 29, shall we say? 29. And finally, the coin of the pound variety here. We've got a uh, pound coin, so these are normally about 69, 70 on the uh, simplex. So on the legend, we've got 43. Nice and solid 43, it really is locking onto that. Excellent stuff, and you can see the ferro check again, all the way over to the side. Fantastic stuff, okay, that's good. That gives me a little sense as to how far the numbers have been shifted down. Okay, so as I said, that's a very rough and ready check, just to give a vague idea of how far down the numbers are shifting from the simplex. The numbers may be different in the field, um, in the ground, on the beach, that sort of thing. So um, where you are will, will affect the VDIs, but it's just a ballpark idea of where they're gonna land. Um, so what do I think of the Legend so far? It's first impressions, I haven't swung it, I haven't actually used it in anger yet, um, but so far, very impressed. It's in the simplex housing, you know, it's very solid build. I'm not gonna be too afraid of damaging this. Um, we know it's waterproof, we know it's rechargeable, we know there's wireless headphones included in the pack. No matter what pack you get, you'll get wireless headphones. With the, uh, with the legend. Um, simultaneous multi-frequency, so theoretically you should find more, it should penetrate deeper, and it should be more stable on the beach, so I can't wait to get this out and try it. Um, probably my favorite thing so far is actually the buttons. On the simplex, the buttons are quite stiff. You have to push really hard to get the, uh, the buttons in. Here, the action on the buttons is really nice. Um, it feels nice. You don't need to put too much pressure on, but there's just enough resistance on the button so that you're not gonna push it accidentally. Really, really good, really well made, really premium feel to it. Um, so yeah, I cannot wait to get this out in the field. Um, I'm gonna be out on my farm permission this weekend to give this its first run out. 
uh, I'll be covering an area I've already covered with the simplex, so we'll see how the legend deals with that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button down below. If you are not subscribed to DTEC Sussex as yet, and you want to follow me as I'm learning this machine from scratch over the coming weeks and months, hit the subscribe button down below this video, and you'll get a video from me every single week. So, I hope you're all okay. hope you all enjoyed that. Have a fantastic few days, and I will see you soon. Take care.